Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Ohapel and today I've got a really really fun gameplay for you. What you're going to be watching is some search and destroy in ranked playlist on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. What ended up happening is I joined a ranked playlist match in progress, you see it loading up here, and ended up joining into the losing team, gave us a great comeback, went 10-0 and, and pulled it out. So right off the bat, I notice that we're two rounds down, so I throw on the most tryhard class I have at the time, which is the BAL. This is one of the highest powered assault rifles. You've probably seen a lot of it on Advanced Warfare because nearly everyone's using it. I throw it on here because I don't want to take any chances that we might lose this and rank back down. So the first tip for you guys in this is this spot where I am right now, if you go all the way to the left right there against the wall, you can see all the way down the stairs inside that building. And so if you are playing on defense, you can rush the top of that roof and look down those stairs. Usually one or two people will come straight through there and you can kill them right as they're coming up the stairs while, they're, while they technically can't even see you still because they're out of sight. You just shoot the mid body and legs and get some easy kills. They will catch on after a round or two, but it usually works in pubs. So definitely check that spot out as well. I think I end up using that spot honestly almost every round and for some reason they don't learn. They're either going to come from the left, come through that window, or come up those stairs almost every time and just give me some free kills. Also, as for my class, I wanted to mention that this was kind of a match before I'd really had experience in the game so much. I mean, I'm level 47, but I fe still was feeling like I didn't have a good grasp on what to use. So things in here like the um, exo ping and stuff like that, I don't tend to use anymore, so don't necessarily copy me on that, as well as I tend to run a little bit more heavy on the kill streaks now. So there is definitely stuff to be learned, even on a 10-0 game. I think that if I would have had some different perks on, maybe had an extra attachment, had something different, some more kill streaks, it would have made this an even easier game for us to win. One thing I've been talking about as well for Advanced Warfare is the game types. Um, because they're such small maps, and because the exo movement speeds really get you around the maps quicker, I feel like Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy are the game types that really shine in this. And especially ranked play. Ranked play is 4v4 and that slows the game down even a little bit further. If you've ever played 6v6 domination or hardpoint or something like that on this game, it just gets ridiculous because it's just spawn, spam the objective, spawn, spam the objective, and it doesn't really feel like there's much strategy to it. It turns out to be, you know, whichever team can just like lock down the area a little bit better, but it, it ends up being really hectic, especially with randoms. I prefer a game where I can have a little bit more control as an individual player, especially while I'm playing with randoms like now. Um, Search and Destroy and Team Deathmatch definitely have that going for them. And they still play fairly fast-paced because of the movement speeds and the small maps. Also, a little quick tip. For those of you guys that haven't played this yet, I think the plant time is 5 seconds and the diffuse time in search and destroy i think it's seven and a half which really threw me off guard the first couple games i played because i expected it to be five like previous call of duties but it is definitely not it's much longer so you have to be prepared for that when you're going for the diffuse and really make sure to use good time management so you don't run out of time to diffuse it is a little bit of a problem to me that you can actually join a ranked game mid game i mean this one was already four to two and Considering you know ranked is supposed to like show your skill and all that and show if you what how high you can get it kind of sucks um, I was worried going into this that oh really we're already two down We're probably gonna lose this and that means that I'm gonna take a loss for something that was already half over before I joined So that is a little bit of, of a problem. I hope they fix that later on or maybe if they were to just uh, Make it so people had an incentive not to leave like if they were to get punished if they did leave maybe because I'm not sure if you get um, just a regular loss or what, but it should give you maybe like a loss and a half or something if you leave because it is a little bit lame to have people joining in in progress. And the other thing that was kind of bugging me about ranked play a little bit while I was playing that day was that it seemed not to be, I mean I, I understand that this is the ranking like season or whatever where nobody's ranked yet, but it seemed to be very unbalanced. You had people that were coming in that were like level six or seven I think, they were coming in solo with no mics, they weren't very good players, and then you were also going up against people who were full teams of four, like second prestige, already like two days in the game, and would just trounce pretty much any team. And so I guess the solution is you just want to have a better team yourself probably. You know, go in with a team of four, and that makes it so you're going to lose less often. That's pretty obvious. But I wish that there was a way for it to 
maybe determined based on skill as well when you're being ranked in these because you can get kind of an unlucky streak or a lucky streak which I have had both of and you know when I have an, a lucky streak it doesn't really feel like I earned anything in this playlist it doesn't feel like oh yeah I'm ranking up because I really deserved it because I really you know just bested those teams it just felt like oh you just got paired with some noobs and got got lucky with the match and it felt somewhat similar when we lost so I wish that there was more skill-based matchmaking in the ranked playlist for this ranking season. But, again, that's not as big of a deal. Another thing I want to mention about my class is I am using the flashbang grenades. Not frags, not stickies, none of that. Because, honestly, most of the grenades in this game are very bad. I mean, you have to have your grenade right next to him in order to get a kill. It doesn't do a lot of splash damage or anything like that. But I do feel like the flash grenades, since you can air burst them, are very, very useful. So definitely take advantage of those. Also, you can use them almost as little mini UAVs, where if you think somebody might be over there, spam one. If you get a hit marker, now you know. And here you see me using that line of sight yet again. I can kind of see his legs there, then I recognize it, and pull off an easy double kill without them even taking a shot at me because they couldn't see where I was at. That takes their team down by half and makes the rest of this round very pretty easy for us. Anyways, guys, that's about all I have for you today. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed playing this game so far. I've been having a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more Advanced Warfare content on a regular basis. I'm still planning to upload, you know, one to three times per week, depending on how my schedule is. Just doing some streams as well, so be sure to keep checking back. Follow me on Twitter, at Ohapel. And, yeah, you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.